Hey guys, and welcome to the video. My name is Amanda. I'm a second year vet student, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about five tips to stay productive during online learning. So if you are in the same situation as me and your school is going to online learning in the fall, you are probably wondering how you are going to stay productive because I thought the exact same thing. Honestly, I do enjoy online learning and I've taken classes online in the past, but I do notice that my productivity is not the same when I'm sitting at home versus when I'm in a classroom. So I have come up with five tips that I use all the time to help me stay productive when I have to learn at home. A lot of these tips are things that are super simple but are honestly things that make a huge difference in terms of my productivity. So before we jump into the video, if you guys like this video or want to see more videos about my vet school journey or tips on how to get accepted into vet school, then please feel free to like this video and subscribe. It means a ton to me and you guys can come along on my journey through vet school. Okay, let's jump right on into the tips and stop procrastinating and get productive. Okay, let's talk about productivity tip number one. So the very first tip I have to be productive when you are working at home is to start from the minute you wake up. I personally always like to do one thing right when I wake up that sets the tone for the day and makes me feel like it's going to be a productive one. For me, that is making my bed. I try and make my bed every single morning and it just sets me in the right mindset and it makes me feel like I'm going to be productive throughout the rest of the day. Another thing that I've been trying to do recently that goes along with my morning routine is I'm trying not to sleep with my phone beside my bed because sometimes I find when I wake up in the morning, I'll check my phone and then 40 minutes later, I'm still in bed checking my phone. So with school starting up in the next couple weeks, I've been starting to not sleep with my bed beside my phone. Bed beside my phone. Guys, it's been a long week. <laughs> phone beside my bed. That way I literally cannot check it when I get up and it forces me to get out of bed and start the day. So those are two things that I've been doing right when I wake up to set the tone for the day and make sure that I have a productive one. Tip number two is to create a productive work environment for yourself. I don't know if this is just me, but I am the type of person that feeds off of the environment that they're in. And honestly, I feel like this is why I'm very productive at coffee shops or if I'm in the library at school. So now that I can't go to coffee shops and I can't go to the library at school, I felt like creating a productive work environment in my home, in my bedroom, was so important for me to stay on track through the day. So I gave my desk a massive makeover and I cleaned it up, I made sure that it was tidy, and I made sure it was a space that I liked to be in. I always found before that if my desk was messy or if my room was messy I wouldn't want to be there I wouldn't want to sit there and actually work for hours on end so making sure that my desk is nice and clean and it looks nice makes me want to sit there and actually do my work so I made sure I added some personal touches I made sure I added things that made me feel happy that made me want to sit at my desk and above all I make sure that it's clean because if it's not clean I end up in my bed and then if I end up working in my bed I end up sleeping so having a clean nice look workspace for me is so important to stay productive throughout the day. Okay, so now that we have set the tone or set the mood with our first two tips, now it's time to move to tip number three, and that is to create a realistic to-do list for you to get done. I love to-do lists. It is so satisfying to me to be able to check things off throughout the day. And honestly, it just makes me wanna get those things done so that I can check it off. The one thing that I will say though about creating to-do lists is that you wanna set an achievable to-do list for yourself. A lot of the times I go into making to-do lists and I will separate it into two categories. Things that absolutely have to get done today and things that are just nice that if I get them done, good for me. Sometimes if I just throw everything on one to-do list, it can get very overwhelming and then I get bummed if I don't finish the things on the list. So that's what I mean by creating an achievable to-do list. You want to be realistic with your time. You wanna be realistic with the things that you can actually get done because if you make a massive to-do list and you don't get it done, you're probably just gonna feel worse about yourself than when you started. So by creating an achievable to-do list, it is so satisfying and it really does keep you on track for the day. Okay, great. So now we've made our to-do list and now it's actually time to get down to the work. And this is the part that I struggle with the most. I love making my to-do list, the morning stuff is easy, and now it's time to work and now I don't wanna be productive. So tip number four is to remove all of the distractions. 
I like to set my studying up into different blocks of time. And one of the ways that I like to do this or track how long I've been studying is to use apps on my phone. One of the apps that I really like to use is called Flora. It's basically just an app online where it locks you out of your phone for a certain amount of time that you can set. While you're not on your phone, a little tree grows, which is super cute to see. And basically, if you have to go into your phone during that set amount of time, the plant that you're growing dies, which I mean, makes you feel pretty guilty, I'm not gonna lie. This is just a way for me to stay productive and to not look at my phone every five minutes because sometimes, honestly, I do that. Another tool that I like to use on my laptop is a lockdown browser. You can just go on Google Chrome and download extensions and it basically allows you to just set what websites you don't want to use. So Netflix for me is a big one, Facebook can sometimes be one, and honestly, sometimes even YouTube. And it basically just locks you out of those sites. It does not allow you to access them for a certain amount of time that you've set. I mean, if you have better self control than I do you can always just go set your phone somewhere else where you're not going to touch it but uh, I need the extra help for me removing the distractions is the most important step in me being productive because once those distractions are gone I'm actually very focused on my work it's just initially removing those distractions that is the biggest hurdle to overcome okay so we followed steps one to four we are having a super productive day we're staying on track now comes tip number five and that is to reward yourself and give yourself a break I am always so much more productive when I have something to look forward to. Whether that be a break or a snack or just something to take my mind off studying. Depending on what I'm studying or what I need to get done for the day will depend on how long I work for and then how long I'll take a break for. Sometimes I will work for about an hour and then I'll take a 15 minute break. Other times I will try and really sit down and study for about two hours at a time and then I will give myself a half hour break and a lot of the time I'll just grab a snack and then watch a Netflix episode on my break But having something in your head that you know you're gonna do on your break Whether it be eating or watching Netflix just gives you that extra little bit of motivation to get through whatever task you're doing Another thing I find is that when I have something in my head that I know I'm gonna do on my break Whether it literally be a nap or eating it just makes the time go by so much faster I don't know why but when I put my phone away and I don't check it every five minutes and I actually get into what I'm doing Honestly, the time goes by super quick and honestly I think this is the most important thing that you need to do to stay productive you want to be able to study hard and work hard but you also need to give yourself a break and take time for yourself so you don't burn out it would be no different than you going to class on campus and having breaks in between your classes. Even though you are learning from home this coming semester, make sure you do take those times to have the breaks for yourself. Take time to eat, take time to shower. Don't feel like just because you're at home, you have to be studying 24 seven. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna have that problem. I probably won't. I'll probably think because I'm at home, I get to sleep all the time, but hey. Some people might feel that way. Anyway, no matter how you're feeling, make sure you do give yourself those breaks. It is gonna be so important for you to stay sane when we are learning from home. So with that being said, those are the five tips that I have for you guys to stay productive during online learning. It's going to be a change for all of us, but I am going to be updating you along the way. And if I come across any new tips that I have that I feel like really make me productive at home, I will be sure to share them with you guys. If you guys have any tips that I didn't mention in this video that really help your productivity, feel free to leave them down below. I would love to hear them because honestly, I'm gonna need as much help as I can get. So now that you have these tips, I wish you guys the best of luck with the upcoming semester. Like I said before, if you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!